Cruise news. Officials are fed up and have taken action against lawlessness on cruise ships. I'm going to get you the information on that. Plus, I have the top 10 cruise news updates from across the cruise industry, and I'm going to get you the information fast. Coming up. Welcome to the Travel Scouts. My name is Jason and we are your cruise information channel. We get you the cruise news and information you're looking for quickly without wasting your time. So if you love cruising, consider subscribing. Okay, lots to get you up to date on. Let's go ahead and jump into it with number one, Carnival Cruise Line is having website issues again. Many cruisers have been reaching out to Carnival Cruise Line brand ambassador John Hilt's Facebook page today. It seems that many people cannot see their bookings on Carnival's website. This impacts the ability to check in for a cruise, to buy packages, to print luggage tags, and many other things. Brand ambassador John Hilt responded and said that there is no need to call in, that the cruise line is aware, and that they will get it resolved ASAP. And on a similar note, Royal Caribbean has announced that they are partnering with an IT company called IBS for their own website. Their goal with this partnership is to improve the online guest experience. More details will be released soon, but it promises to increase functionality and make the overall booking experience much smoother. Next, number two, Panama Canal cruises could see some changes. Many cruise lines increase their cruises to Central and South America during the fall and winter due to the colder temperatures up north. And one bucket list cruise for many people is the Panama Canal. However, the Panama Canal Authority has announced that they are reducing daily transits for any type of ship to 25 ships per day effective today, and it will go down to 18 ships per day in February. They said that this is due to severe drought in the region right now. Rainfall is 41% less in historical averages. And they are experiencing the second driest period since 1950. There's been no word of how this has impacted Panama Canal cruises quite yet. However, if you're looking into booking a Panama Canal cruise for the coming months, this may be something that you want to keep in mind. Moving on to number three, we have a travel scam alert. The insurance industry has released a list of the most frequent scams that are being reported by cruisers and other travelers. And one of the most common scams that is being reported to the insurance companies is the kind stranger scam. This is where a stranger approaches you and they are just overly kind. They want to practice their English with you. They want to show you around, something like that. And it seems harmless because they're not asking you for anything. But eventually they ask you to go grab a cup of coffee with them or to go into a nearby restaurant to have a meal. And the scam is that they are working on a commission basis for the establishment to get people to come inside. The rough part is that they disappear and you end up left with a grossly overcharged bill. So here is the recommendation. If you are approached while in another country by an overly friendly stranger, you just need to be on your alert. And if they invite you to go anywhere, maybe a good idea to politely decline. Next, number four, Norwegian Cruise Line has released some interesting money-saving data regarding their food cost. During the third quarter, Norwegian Cruise Line spent $88 million on food. This was for 740,000 cruise passengers, bringing the cost just for the food to just under $119 per person. However, Norwegian reported that this was down significantly from the same period in 2022. During that period, they spent $77 million on food while carrying only 526,000 passengers passengers. This equaled a cost of over $146 per person. Then number five, the FBI has accused two cruisers of stealing $13,000 worth of artwork from a Carnival cruise. This occurred on board the Carnival Legend cruise ship. A crew member noticed these two sculptures missing the day after the thieves had disembarked the ship. Each of those sculptures was roughly the size of a small backpack, and each of them was valued well over $6,000. An unknown couple was seen on security footage entering the art gallery empty-handed after 2 a.m. and departing with items roughly the size of the missing art. The FBI investigated and found a Facebook photo of a cruiser from the voyage wearing the same outfit seen in the security footage. They then executed a search warrant, and indeed, they found the missing art. Okay, we have five cruise news pieces remaining, including the top headlines of the day. But quick question, chime in down below. It is confession time. I have seen art on a cruise ship, of course, but I have never been to an art auction on a cruise ship. I have never bought any art on a cruise ship, but obviously there is something to it, and cruise lines are making money. Otherwise, they would not do it. So here is the question, very simple. Is the art on a cruise ship any good? Chime in down below with A for yes 
And B for no, would love to know any insights that you have, but now on with the cruise news. Number six, Royal Caribbean has announced that they are canceling all Israel cruises for 2024. I shared in my last video that Norwegian Cruise Line had made this decision and was the first to do so. Royal Caribbean's decision will impact two cruise ships for 2024. The Jewel of the Seas cruise ship will now home port in Boston instead of Haifa, Israel. And the Grandeur of the Seas cruise ship will redeploy to Tampa, Florida. Number seven, Norwegian Cruise Line has opened cruises for booking availability on their new ship, the Norwegian Aqua. This ship will be the first in Norwegian's expanded Prima Plus class. It will be 10% larger than its sister ships, and it will feature a hybrid between a roller coaster and a water slide. The ship will be based in Port Canaveral, and it is scheduled to debut in April of 2025. Moving on to number eight, Seaborne Cruises has opened up their Black Friday special early. Seaborne is the ultra luxury cruise line that is owned by Carnival Corporation. The promotion is offering a two category suite upgrade, up to $2,000 in onboard credit, and a 50% reduced deposit. The offer is good through November 27th. And the big note here is that if you like shopping for cruise deals, keep your eyes and ears open open over the next month for those Black Friday specials. Next, number nine, I have a quick hurricane season update. The Atlantic is currently in good shape. We are tracking one weather system, but it only has a 10% chance of cyclone formation in the next week. Meanwhile, we are tracking two weather systems in the Eastern Pacific. The only one of concern is Tropical Storm Pilar. It is turning north, however, projections show it remaining out at sea. That is at least through midweek of next week. We will continue to monitor. And then number 10, lawlessness on cruise ships. I have two incidents to share with you. Now, one caveat up front, I have been on many cruises. I have never seen a fight, drug use, or anything like that. So this is the exception and not the rule. The first incident was with a cruiser from the Norwegian Escape. A 60-year-old man got off the ship in Bermuda with marijuana. And the port was not having it. They went after the man. They had his cabin searched and more marijuana was found. For each finding, the man was ordered by a judge to pay between $500 and $1,000 each. The second incident is involving a recent cruise on Royal Caribbean's Allure of the Seas cruise ship. On this cruise, there was a large group of 600 plus people with a rapper named Jadakus. And it got rowdy. There are many reports of fighting and drug use on this cruise. And reports are that between Roatan, Honduras and Cosmel, Mexico, more than 300 people from this group were kicked off of the cruise. I call that a cruise smackdown. Okay, subscribe and turn the notification bell on to stay up to date with the latest cruise news and information. The next video will be coming out soon, but until then, keep on cruising, and we'll catch you in the next video. Ooh.